Hi guys, this is the Dev Lounge and welcome to an Xcode 4.5 tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to take a look at iOS 6 and the social framework within iOS 6 and specifically we're going to look at the Facebook part of the social framework and then in the follow-up video we'll take a look at the Twitter section. So without further ado, let's start up Xcode and create ourselves a new project. It's going to be a single view application. We're just going to call it Facebook. For the iPhone, storyboards and automatic reference counting should be checked. Choose a location to save it. And then first things first, we need to go down. So we click up here on our target, hit target, Facebook. Down to the link frameworks and libraries, we're going to hit the plus button and type social. And we're going to add that framework. We're going to drag it from here into our Frameworks folder. And then we're going to go to our main storyboard.storyboard. .storyboard. Now as you can see, this is the iPhone 5 storyboard. You can simply toggle this button down here to get the standard 3.5 inch screen and hit it back to get the, the new 4 inch screen. So I'm going to stick with the iPhone 5. And I'm just going to give a little mock-up, so I'm going to put it in a navigation controller. I'm going to give it a title, title of Facebook. And we're just going to add a round rep button. Put it in the center, and I'm going to call it Post to Facebook. Okay. Now we're going to go into our view controller.h and we need to pound import within angle brackets our social slash social.h file. So this includes the social framework within our project. So we need to go back to our storyboard, select the view controller, hit the assistant editor, and control drag from our post, sorry, change this one to view controller.m and then control drag from our post to Facebook button into our code and we'll call this post to Facebook. Let's clear up some spacing. Back to single view editor, save the storyboard and straight into our view controller.m. So I'm going to clear up some of this some of these comments. We don't need any of those. And first things first, we're going to check if the service type Facebook is actually available. So if we're logged in we're going to check that first. So if, then in parentheses in the square bracket, SL Compose View Controller is available for service type, SL Service Type Facebook. Okay, so this if statement simply says, is Facebook available and ready to use? If not, then it can't post, obviously. So within here, we're going to create an SL Compose View Controller star Facebook is equal to sorry is equal to double square brackets SL compose view controller alloc in it. So we've just created a pointer to an SL view, uh, compose view controller and allocated it and initted it. So then we do Facebook equals SL compose view controller Compose view controller for service type, SL service type Facebook, all within square brackets. Now if we go down and we do in square brackets Facebook set initial text and NS, sorry, in square brackets NS string, string with format and then at symbol and double quotes and I'm just going to put post to Facebook from iOS 6 application in Xcode 4.5 and then close the brackets and the quote and then we do in self in uh, square brackets again sorry self present view controller Facebook animated yes and completion nil. So now we need to actually set a completion handler down below so Facebook set completion handler and then you do a caret and parentheses 
and then a brace. Sorry, that brace needs to go within here. And then SL Compose View Controller Result. Okay? And then Result. Then we have our braces. And then close the square bracket. So within here, we're just going to create an output. So we're just going to create a nice string, NS string star output. So we just create a local uh, string that's called output, and then we're going to do a switch statement over the result because there's different types of results that you can get. You can either get uh, the the result has been cancelled or the result has been done successfully, and they're the two that we're going to focus on. So case. Case SL compose view controller result cancelled <coughs> colon and then we're going to do output equals action cancelled and then a break and then case SL compose view controller done and then output equals post successful and then break again and then we're going to have a default and that's equal to break so if we get anything but these two we'll just have a break and then after this final brace here we're going to set an alert on the screen to say whether we've successfully posted or if we cancelled the action so we're going to create a UI alert view and it's going to be called alert. So we create a pointer to a UI alert view, and this is equal to UI alert view alloc init with title. Now we're kind of going to call it at Facebook. The message is going to be our output. The delegate is nil. We're going to have a cancel button that's called OK. And other buttons nil. Then we can close our square brackets. Ooh, just the one. And then semicolon. And then after that, we simply just do alert show in square brackets, semicolon, and save that. So now, if I go ahead and run our application, making sure that we're on iPhone 6.0 simulator, and hit run. So as you can see, my screen or the, the device is quite small. That's because I've gone to window and scale down to 50%. Because when using the hardware version, a device, sorry, as the iPhone Retina 4-inch, 100% uh, is slightly too big for my screen, as you can see. So I scaled it down to 50% so I can see what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and look at this. Let's click the post of Facebook. And as you can see, the Facebook... Uh, view controller pops up. So then if we cancel this, we'll get a UI alert telling us that action was cancelled. But if we actually post this, we get Facebook post successful. So that concludes our tutorial on how to post to Facebook using the social framework in iOS 6. Don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe to my channel. Like us on Facebook. That's forward slash the dev lounge and follow us on Twitter at the dev lounge. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial where we'll look at Twitter integration. So until then, thank you and goodbye.